Hi there, Sam from Light Sounds again. Thanks for watching. Today I'm going to show you about our PAR64 LED cam. It comes with 10mm LEDs, 60 watts total, very affordable, very small, compact LED. Very simple to use. I'm just going to show you a couple of little features that it has. Once you turn it on, you'll see it comes up with CL, means colour. Using the up and down buttons, you can actually change. One is red, two is green, three is blue, and so on, and so on, and so on. Very simple to change. Awesome. You put it on a H-stand, and then you can shine it up walls. Great effect, great a lot of ambient light. Now, static colours, these are called static colours, obviously changing them. If you want to get into something a little bit more fancier and like a, a color scroll, really nice and gentle. What we do is we hit the mode button until we get to the F. Now it's on F90 and F90 is quite a quick color fade. So you can see green, blue, and it's changing color very, very quickly. If you like to slow that down, it's just a matter of using the down button and lowering that percentage. So the slower we take it down, lower we take it down, take it down to a 10%, it's gonna, it's gonna change color very, very, very slowly. Now some people might wanna change, if they've got this set up at their house or at a party, they might wanna change the colors. So without actually lifting the light up and walking around to every light, we've also come out with a fancy, yet very simple controller. Very basic for our park hands. So what we'll do, is we'll actually, show you here, we'll plug in just a simple XLR cable, DMX cable, XLR signal, it's both the same, doesn't really matter. What we'll do is we'll plug it in there, plug the power on, turn it on, and then we just need to go to our mode settings, and we just need to make it number one. Let me show you a few features of this handy little controller. If you just want to select individual and static colours, we can just press the colour select button and just by pressing the corresponding button is the colour that you'll get. Pretty straightforward, saves you running around to every light, turning it upside down and manually doing it from the, from the back of the unit. If you'd, like, if you'd like to have a bit of a, a boogie and you want it to go to the sound of the music, you've got a sound active button and then by adjusting the sensitivity and me tapping it, it has a little built-in microphone which picks up the bass and you can see it kind of flashes and gives you a bit of a, a disco -y effect or if you want something a little bit smoother, a little bit more sophisticated then if we press the auto button and we can adjust speed, you can actually change and then if you like it to colour scroll nice and smooth we can just slow it down, there we go if you also, if you like to make it a flash, we also have a, a flash fader, which gives you like a strobing effect. Advantages of LED park hands is that you can actually fit a lot onto a normal 10 amp circuit, which is a normal household circuit. Um, and also, they do have outputs on them, so you can daisy chain them. One into the other, into the other, into the other. Very low wattage, and as you can see, no heat. So no chance of people burning their legs while they're on the floor up against the wall. Long lamp life also, actually I should say LED life. Um, average LED life is about 50,000 hours. Ours have been designed and tested to do 200,000 hours. <laughs> I think you just made that up, Sam. <laughs> 200,000? 